Hey, how's it going? This is Heather, All Still Fitness. Uh, I just wanted to send a quick video out to you guys on our email list a little bit about Halloween, Halloween candy, and the temptations that um, might be coming about in the next week. So, if you're like me and love candy, I pretty much love all kinds of candy, so um, there's nothing really particularly off limits for me if it's in my house and I'm um, finding myself bored or not um, not particularly hungry, I might dig in. So what I want to do is give you a couple little tips on how to um, stay successful throughout Halloween. So it's coming up this Thursday. So first and foremost, buy the kind of candy that is your least favorite or something that you're not being tem um, tempted to eat at all. That really helps not having your favorite stuff in the house just sitting there waiting to be dug into at midnight, you know, when you're getting the munchies. So that's number one. Um, and number two, uh, maybe not even having the candy in the house. Maybe going out and buy something besides candy to hand out for the kids. You know, you want to join in the festivities and have all the cute kids come by with their little costumes. So what we like to do at my house is get um, go to the dollar store or the party store and grab the five-cent little toys, ten-cent little toys, um, and have a variety of them and pop those in the kids' bags. They love them. The parents love them. The dentists love them. And... Um, you can feel safe sticking on track with your uh, fitness and nutrition plan. Um, and last but not least, if it's too late, you've already bought all kinds of candy, your favorite candy, things like that. Or if you're going out trick-or-treating yourself with your kids, um, what do you do after the Halloween? And you have, like me in my house, sometimes we get 15 pounds of candy. Ridiculous. We like to go running around on Halloween. That's what's fun for us. And with it comes a whole bunch of candy. So... Here's what I want you to do. Any of the leftover candy that you have, and you happen to be, you know, within driving, walking distance of um, All Still Fitness, we're going to offer you guys um, the option of bringing it in to your first workout um, after the Halloween, so like two, uh, Saturday or Sunday after Halloween, even Friday, um, or the following week. Bring in your candy here, and we'll accept it for you, and we're going to send it to the troops because, you know, they don't have much candy, and they have to eat freeze-dried food and slop and things like that. So... We're going to send it all the troops for you and give them all that candy and um, calories that you don't need. Um, in addition to that, starting November 1st, we're going to have our food drive here. So if you come in and bring your canned foods, canned goods, boxed um, oatmeal, stuff like that, for each um, uh, can of food you come in, you're going to get a raffle ticket to win some shoes. So we're going to fatten the, um, the prize a little bit and bring in one big bag of candy will give you an extra raffle ticket to win your shoes um, so it'll be out of your house into some hands of the troops and you might even be the winner of some new shoes so remember pay attention to these tips don't uh, ruin all your hard-earned results you know here with Halloween coming up and um, check out your email for some tips, holiday tips to how to survive Thanksgiving and Christmas. All right, Heather, allstillfitness.com. Talk to you later.